Okay, I think I'm streaming. I hope. Oh my god, I am. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh my god. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Dark Mind live stream. Okay, well, the window that had the live chat open closed, so I'm just gonna use my phone to monitor that. Oh, wow. I already have one viewer. Oh, wait, no, that's me. Okay, wow. Anyways, I'm currently working on an airplane. Uh, as you can see, I've already made quite a bit of progress. Oh wow, hello there, Court Jest Jester and Robbie Rotten. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm currently working on an airplane. Um, now you guys are probably wondering, you know, why the fuck was uh, no video released like two days ago or whatever? And the reason for that is because I have been working on a video called, or that I will call, uh, like making realistic aerospace vehicles in Gmod. And the reason it's taking so long is because I don't know how the fuck to make aerospace vehicles. Um, but you know, I'm making great progress. As you can see, I'm working on an airplane. And, uh, th this is pretty great. So as you can see, I have working ailerons. And they are controlled by this lever I have here. As you can see. And uh, this is the propeller. And you may be wondering, um, if I am to make this airplane as realistic as possible, why not go all out and just make an engine? And the reason I will not be doing that is because last time I tried to make an engine, uh, uh, this is what happened. I mean, it has the pistons. Y you can sort of see what's going on inside of it. Um, yeah, this is spinning. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Uh, so I won't be using that, I'm just going to be using this thing that looks like an engine, and uh, got a propeller strapped to it. And it, the propeller goes at different speeds, even though it doesn't really look like it, uh, so that I can pretend that I'm like adjusting the thrust on this propeller. Uh, yes, this is a Ray Solo stream. I actually I don't remember if I mentioned if this is a Ray solo stream or not. Anyways, um, I'm going to get back to work on building this wild, uh, like, mechanism for my airplane. I'm actually working on uh, getting the flaps set up, which are used to help get the plane into the air. So that is what I will be doing this stream. Okay, how the f hell will I do this? Are these on the ground? Okay. Oh my god. I think the two main things that have been holding me back is just dumb things like this happening and just trying to find the right parts to make this out of. Okay. 
Okay, how will I attach this? Well, I need this to be separated from the ailerons. I think I'm going to attach them in a similar way. That is tiny. Uh, what did I use here? Okay. Here we go. This is gonna be fantastic. Okay, I need you to hold still. Great. That is what I like to see. And now I'm going to attach this using an axis. Oh my god. I went from so okay. Here we go. Oh my god. This is so dumb. Okay, yes. Wow. Look at how perfect that is. Well, I hate this. Oh my god, no. So, I'm actually gonna remove this thing. I don't know why I had to make it just so wide. I'm actually gonna use this instead. I think. The best stream is a Ray only stream? That's right. Where are the Ray only fans at? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, yeah. I just have to wedge this penis in here. I think that looks great. Axis. Oh my god. Just let me attach it in a way that's good. Oh my god, what is that? What is it doing? I'm trying to get it right on the edge. So that there's not too separation between it and uh, the wing. Wow. Okay, maybe I shouldn't worry so much about getting it right on the edge. Maybe like right here, maybe that would do the trick. Okay, it's still being this way. Oh, okay. Did did that do it? God, I I hate this so much. Um I'm still going to put a ball socket right here to get it fully attached. All right, does this work? Who knows? Uh, 
this is just to test it. Oh. Okay, well, these thrusters are just strong as hell. They're strong as a kicking bull. Okay, I mean, yeah, it's definitely on a hinge. Yo, prisms here. Oh yeah, I've got my whirlwind mod locked and loaded. I mean, when you think about it, could you really build an airplane without a whirlwind mod? Okay, great. I mean, the biggest thing preventing me from actually making a realistic plane in Gmod is the fact that there's no air in the game. So, you know, maybe a whirlwind mod would do some good. Oh my god, balls. Okay. Oh. Oh. Um. I'm not a fan of this line. How does the other one look? Yeah, look how, look at what a tight pussy this other one has. I, I actually don't know if it's that different. Yeah, I, I'd like it to be closer. I'd like the flap to be closer to the wing. Look at the chair, hold C, and click, uh, and click on the chair, then select keep, I, m I mean, I know how to keep things upright, so, you know, I, I'm an experienced Gmod builder, I don't know why you would doubt my knowledge. Okay. Yeah. I can live with this. Uh, I think I, I think I did the other one like this, right? And is that good? Uh, just like the other one, it is certainly on a hinge. Okay. Uh, now I need to attach the... I need to set up the lever that controls the flaps. I had something I wanted to use for this. Is it in here? No, it's not. Um, I think I got rid of it because I realized it was massive. 
It's not in plastic. Oh, right. Yeah. It was this thing, because I thought it looked kind of similar to uh, how it does in an airplane. But, you know, I'm placing functionality over realism, as you can probably tell uh, with the rest of it. Um, this rod just seems a bit too thick. Yeah, I don't particularly want it, like, under my chair, either. Oh, God. That's right, guys. Ray only stream. Oh, and for everyone new who, like, just showed up, I want you to check out this insane mechanism I've been working on. Oh, right, I froze these. God. Hopefully the ailerons still work now that I attach the flaps. Look, these, these things, these are controlled by the lever alone. I know there are wheels here, but they're not doing anything. They're just there to, like, help it turn, help the mechanism go. Look at that. Tell, tell me. That is not something that an airplane does. I know, I am making a boat this time. Thanks for dropping by Panopticon to check out my boat. Oh my god, that's awful. Oh right, I'm looking for a lever. Uh, maybe something from here. Oh my god, it's massive. Why is it that every long, hard object I see in Gmod is just massive? the fuck uh hold on okay here we go oh god why is it top chat okay great uh let's see I feel like this lever's uh, thinness might have contributed to uh, its uh, mild flimsiness, so I don't particularly want to see that in the other lever. Yeah, yeah, that's awful. I think I'll just use that weird thick thing, like this. And you know, so what if it goes through my chair? Actually, it can just go next to my chair. Actually, I could like move my chair over, because I mean, what airplane has its chair in the middle? I've never seen that before, that doesn't exist. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Sight might actually join in this livestream to watch me make this airplane, but uh, he's dealing with some shit right now, so who knows. Okay, is this f lined up? Uh, 
Okay. This, this is a terrible way to make sure that it's lined up, but who cares? What is this? Oh my god. It's so much worse than I could have ever imagined. Um, no! Okay, everything here is just nightmare fuel. Okay, going back to this thing, this could work. Because, I mean, as long as it's not bumping into my chair. God. Although it's, like things aren't far apart enough to reach uh, the flaps, so there's probably not much of a point in it. No. No. Uh, I know everything here is tiny. Oh my god. It's just so small. I can't even pick it up. It's useless. What is this? What? What? Okay, this is not what I was expecting. Um... What the hell? Racks? I can't even see these. There's three of them, it seems. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I might actually use these for something in the future. Okay, how do flaps work? I wrote this down. Um, I just need I just need to remember exactly how they work. Okay. Okay, so we've got the lever. And then... Alright. This is interesting. You know, I actually think this just looks so similar to the part um, in the diagram that I'm looking at that I, I think it was just meant to be. Is that centered? No way for me to know. Doesn't particularly matter. Um, I may have to move it back, which I was trying to avoid. Actually, maybe not, because I could just weld this directly to these parts, right? 
Um, let me check. Let me check this shit. Okay. I've got this. I have it handled. question is how would this look in the thing I think it would look nice I think it would just it would look just lovely have you guys seen how straight this tube is by the way like I lined each of these pieces up perfectly to just create the straightest tube you can imagine it's like a fleshlight I don't know if you guys have ever been to the official Fleshlight website, but there's this one that's just, it, it literally has no texture, like it's just a straight tube. It's the worst fucking Fleshlight I have ever seen. And it's also my airplane. Oh no. No. In case you guys haven't noticed, uh, which, well, I hope you haven't, um, I am basically new to live streaming. Uh, I am usually with sight. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of difficult to get used to, like, talking and doing shit at the same time, if you know what I'm saying. Oh my god. Okay, this is fine. I'm actually starting to think this is great. Oh my god. This is awful. Why would such a thing occur? I can just no collide this. Um, no, this is not a Pringles can. This is an airplane. Why? Okay, I just need to turn it. Oh my god. I think this is fine. I've just never been more satisfied with my life. Yeah, I mean, I could see it. You can really tell that I tried. Wow, I'm realizing that these aren't even and it's just sending me into a state of blind panic. Great. Yeah. Okay, maybe I should have some some way to judge how all this will fit into the, uh, like, 
Oh my god, why am I forgetting what this part of the plane is called? Just the pilot... the place where the pilot sits. You guys would be surprised how many weird parts I found while trying to make this plane. Like, I found some weird bunker that you can't even get into. I think it was in here. No, it wasn't. Okay, but this is what I used for the uh, plane cab or whatever. And... Gonna see how all this would fit into it. Um, okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, like, I can have this at the front. Well, actually, these wings, well, since these wings are going to go under these, uh, the cab would be sitting further up. So, this is like, wings are halfway down the cab. So... To make it more accurate, be like this. Oh my god. Wow. Man, look at that. Um, is, the, is that really it? Is, it re is that really all there is to it? Okay. Wings are like that. So that would mean here is pretty accurate. Okay. Which means my chair, it could be like here probably be on this side um yeah as for this lever i'm i'm just going to have to make it make something work Uh, yes, the goal is for it to be a working plane. Oh, you were talking about the fleshlight. Um, yes, the fleshlight I was describing is essentially a Pringles can. Like, on the official fleshlight website, uh, they literally just rebranded a Pringles can. Yeah. It's pretty scandalous, if you ask me. I mean, I could have this lever going inside of the other one. Uh, I could also move this one over. And then move my chair over. Maybe extend this lever. So it actually looks like it's anything at all. Yeah, it... The more I look at it, the more I realize it doesn't actually need to be this shape. I mean, this thing right here already isn't realistic. Um, is this thing completely flat? I know it has these this like pole on the end. I'm going to assume it's not. Oh, 
Oh my god, what is this on the end? Oh my, that is horrifying. Thank god. I dodged a bullet there. Actually, I'm probably still gonna use it. Maybe I'll even flip it this way. Hello there, lab, 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 confidential. How much money would you donate to make me delete everything? Um, you'd actually have to donate, uh, like, a million dollars, and then your entire life savings, and then another million dollars, and all the money in the universe. That is how much this plane matters to me. This is... God, it sucks. This is good, though. Yes. Okay, I think I can just go ahead and weld this. And then... Gonna attach this with ball sockets. Actually, I'd like to attach it with an axis. And then a ball socket on the other side. Sort of like this. Oh my god. It's in the way of itself. Something along the lines of this. Is that good? I think so. This is not attached, right? Okay, it's not. And... Oh my god. Look at that massive gap. Like, this gap is wider than my asshole. this work oh my god I, 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 I actually really just can't tell oh this was welded okay well I'd like to unweld it now I mean I'm sure it works Actually, no, I'm not. I want to remove this and then, like, see what I can do. Just, I just want to see if it works. Is it functioning? I mean... Doesn't seem to be passing... Pa passing the thruster test. Okay, well, it is now. It just takes a ton of thrusters to get this thing. Is it, like, heavy or something? Can I disable gravity? How will this work? Oh my god, I mean, that seems to be working better. And if I delete some thrusters? Um... Okay. Yeah, I assume that won't affect, like, how the flaps work. The fact that it has no weight. Because, you know, the flaps have weight. And that's what matters. So, yeah, I think we're good. Now let me find that weird part again. Actually, I don't need it. I can use this instead. If it wasn't horrible, that is. Nothing from there. Oh, I'd like to find that other thing. That weird thing. That, like, weird bunker. Was it here? Um... G 
god. I doubt it was anywhere here. Was it in Builder? Oh, I think it was. Yeah, look at this. What even is this? Why is it- Look, you can't even get inside of it. Oh, okay, well now you can. Look, it's called Sigma. Whoever lives here just thinks they're a Sigma male. That That is just sad. Oh my god, I hate things that have no gravity. I'm, I'm just gonna put its gravity back so that I don't have to deal with it for now. And now I'm going to find a lever. Oh gosh. Preferably, preferably something long. Unlike this. Uh, this is a traffic light. This is two. I mean, it's definitely long. Um, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's massive. It's massive in all the wrong places. Like its balls instead of its penis. I get excited every time I see this thing, and then I remember that it's fucking tiny. Oh my... Nothing in here would work. Oh god, yeah, that would not work. What? What am I even doing? Oh, this is long. Oh. It's also quite thick. Uh, I mean, hey, if it's not a good lever, it'll make a good dildo. That's what I always say. This is, this is not bad. This is like what I was going to use originally. Yeah. It's a bit long, but that's fine. Oh, subscribe and shit. Shit, as in noun or verb, smirking emoji, uh, is what was said by Gnome. And, uh, I sort of like it. I, I, I would like to leave that up to the interpretation of the viewer. That is... I mean, that's okay. What would it be like to be sitting in such a beautiful plane? Oh my god, no. Oh, wow. I mean, yeah. Look, I have this lever beside me, and then... Why is it not even straight? Is it straight now? Great. I'm going to no collide this with my other pole and actually everything else too. Uh, 
Do I want to no collide it with this? I actually don't know if I do. Oh god, what is it doing? What could it be doing? Okay, well it stopped. Um... What's happening? Alright. Looks fine. Hopefully the fact that it's not centered, that, you know, the lever isn't centered in the middle of this thing doesn't affect anything. Did I just weld it? I actually can't remember. God. Okay, so, now that we've got the flaps attached, I hope... Uh, oh right, oh god, I need to attach the lever. Wow, that could have been awful. Let's see. Um, I really just need a thruster to make it, you know, to, like, simulate me pulling on it, me pulling on my, me like tugging on my rod, if you know what I mean, and then just some way to stop it. What? I know on airplanes they have like a thing to gauge, um, uh, like how much, like, uh, I, I don't know how to describe it. They have like a s thing to gauge how m much you're like, uh, turning the flaps or whatever. Maybe I could make it look something like that. That is, that's not what that looks like. Um, yeah, if I find something that works, I'm gonna use it. Actually, I should probably uh, f figure out the degree to which the flaps will turn, um, depending on how much I move this lever. How's this? It's not fucking moving. It, it kinda sucks cause this, this goes overboard and it's gonna stop uh, the thing from turning. Yeah, as, as I thought, as expected. Okay, I've got to move this up so that I can actually test this shit. Actually, I can't even test this shit because uh, the flaps are on the ground too. Well, damn it. Where has it gone? Wasn't this. Oh yeah, here we go. I mean, I do such a good job at everything I do that I can just assume it works.
No, what? Okay. No. Uh, yeah. I think, I think it's got the right idea. There we go. I'll put the seat here. I know it's pretty weird. I mean, if we wanted it, the, like the position of the chairs to be symmetrical, uh, the other one would go like there. And like sight would sit there or something. And we'd just be right next to each other. We'd just be so close together that our balls would be touching the entire time. Which, you know, I see as a plus, personally. Okay. Now I've got to weld it back in place. And attach a thruster. Oh, right. Um, what button do I want to use for the flaps? I'm using F and H for, um, for the ailerons. And I, I remember wanting to use T and G for a different part of the airplane. And then, like, my, uh, my forwards, the, the controls for the propeller, my forwards and backwards, well, I'm not going to use the backwards control, but my forwards control was going to be 2, 5, and 8 depending on the power level I wanted, and then the side-to-side -side movement, or should I say the, uh, uh, the yawing would be done by one and three on, on the number pad, by the way. Um, so, I mean, the elevators could be controlled by T and G. In which case, I'm not sure what to make the flaps. I mean, all the flaps are used for is just to help get the plane. It, it just to, uh, just to help like lift it, right? So I can assign sort of a weird uh, control to them. Let's see. So if my hands are on the buttons I'm going to be using, I'm using this, I'm using two to fly forwards, uh, and Yeah, I could picture it. I'll 
Although I do like the idea idea of using T and J G, I mean, to control the elevators. But like, where else would my fingers be? There's only so many places my fingers can explore on my keyboard, you know? Like, it could be spacebar. Actually, yeah, I don't need to go backwards. I don't need to move the flaps in the opposite direction. So yeah, it could be like spacebar. Or just something easy, easy to press. I think it will be spacebar. Well, actually, backwards, I want to be spacebar. And, uh, yeah. It does make me jump. Actually, I can just stop no clipping. I mean, yeah, as far as I can tell, that works. Now I just need something to stop it. Some sort of rod. Uh, not another one of those. Uh, what? Oh no! That's the worst thing I've ever seen. What is this, a bench? Oh my god. Those are tweezers. I mean, it doesn't need to be anything fancy. Like, it could literally just be this. Look, I can make it look like the scale or whatever. I'll even make it yellow. Oh, wow, great. What the hell? Okay, I... What? Oh, this was trail. This was not color. Oh, it's in... Okay. Okay, here we... Oh, wow. Man, that also makes no difference. What? Okay, then. I'm just gonna use... Just anything at all. Uh, yeah. Looks good. I do want it to bear some semblance to, uh, the actual, like, uh, control room of an airplane.
Oh, right. Oh, wow. It's massive. It's very, very tall. Oh, or maybe it's not. I mean, it can... It can do this. It can do this, sort of. Y yeah. Not really sure what it's bumping into. Okay, it seems fine. So, uh, yeah, now something like this will happen. You know, and I can tell uh, how far I'm pushing the lever up, you know, on my scale here. Maybe there's something in material that I can use to make this look better. Oh, wow. I, yeah, I think this was my best hope. Oh, that's... no, nah, that's not good. I mean, it has lines. What? I think I'm just going to use the thing that has lines. Where was it? No. Yeah. Okay. Great. I have a scale of three bars. And of course, I can't change the color to yellow because it that would just be too much to ask for, apparently. Now I need something to stop the lever. Wow. It's like when I need something small, I get something huge, and when I need something, like, just bigger, I get something tiny. What? I don't remember no colliding those two. I'm literally just eyeing what angle I should put this thing at. Oh my god. Wow. That's, uh, that's fantastic.
Why? Why is it doing such a thing? Just need to tilt it a little more. And no more. I mean, it's not going to be accurate no matter what I do. I, I think that that is just great. And it looks like what would happen on a plane, vaguely. Um... Wow. There's really just nothing yellow in Gary's mod. Okay. I think it's fine. Wow. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. This, why is it not moving? This is good. This is good as new. Is it? I can't tell. Uh, yeah. Man, this thing is just blocking me from actually pulling the lever. That, that's, that's exactly what I wanted to see should be farther back. Actually, I haven't uh, welded it yet, so it's not too late. It's called anal insertion. That's what I've learned from my years of building airplanes. Okay. So yeah, I can reach down and pull this lever. I think that's fantastic, and I can like reach just all the way up and pull this thing. I can just tug on all sorts of levers. Now how well would all this fit into my cab? I, I don't really care if it doesn't, like, I'll just no-collide 
shit as needed. But, you know, just for fun, this thing would like be going over it. Gonna disable collisions. Oh, that this looks like it will fit better than I expected it to. Wow, look at that. That actually fits perfectly. And then on the front, I have this thing. Okay, I didn't... Okay. I... I f did I no collide this with this? I don't... I don't remember doing that. I've been getting terrible sleep recently, so I just can't remember anything at the moment. I assume I like disabled collisions or something. That's the only explanation for why it would be behaving in such a way. Um, I mean, yeah. It doesn't get better than this. Now I actually kind of do want the chair to be centered though. Which I don't think would look too bad. If Sight wants a ride on my plane, I'll have him, like, ride on the wing or something. Uh, is anyone saying anything in the chat? Okay. Court Jester says... Dom, that's ugly. And, um... I disagree. Han Hao says, that looks more like a boat than a plane. And, you know, even though it does look very similar to a boat, I think, you know, what matters is that it functions like an airplane. think this is in a more promiscuous position oh yeah it's like right up front actually I don't know why I'm just trying to test how this how all this would look I've got more important things to focus on um oh yeah okay so I assume the flaps are working one can only assume which means I'm going to weld this thing to the wings and the, fi the final step is just welding all this together uh, the wings, the wings are complete well, they will be complete after I attach th this half of the wings to this half of the wings. Um, I am kind of taking a risk by welding this so early. But, um, I can just remove it and replace it. It won't be difficult. this to everything
Okay. Oh, is this welded to shit? I think so. I think I welded this to the wings a while, a while ago. And I'm gonna make the color match. And the material. Not that. What material did I use? Wow. Did it just become non-existent? What? Oh. I see. Okay, yeah, I think, yeah, that's what I used. I was confused because I had the opacity turned down, and I didn't notice that somehow. Um, I'd like to make the ailerons and the flaps different colors to sort of distinguish them from the rest of the airplane wings. I actually think this is fine. Okay, it's time to get everything off the ground. This is an, this is an exciting moment. to unfreeze everything that's been frozen. Okay, what the fuck is happening? Hopefully I didn't weld anything to the ground, because if I did, I'll have to remove some parts. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate this whole thing. Oh Jesus, I didn't mean that whole thing, I meant... Okay, whatever. Just to see what's up with it. Oh, I might have actually welded the wings to the ground, because I do remember uh, just wanting them to be temporary, and then I would position them better uh, in a way that's more aligned with these wings. And, you know, halfway through building, I just decided I didn't want to do that because of everything I've done. Uh, but, if that is the case, it is fixable. Oh my god, I just wish it would let me duplicate only this part, and not the entire plane. Okay. And now, if I remove the flaps, 
I mean, no, not the flaps, the wings. Oh, I forgot to un-weld these. What was I thinking? I mean, I can see why they are pretty easy to forget. Okay. Let me try to unweld those. I mean, you know, just un like freeze them. Oh my god. Did I forget to put these in their ball sockets? Wait, no. I attached this as an axis, didn't I? Okay, well, it really seems like I didn't. So, I'm going to, like, try to fix that. With a ball socket, at the very least. Okay, I guess this flap is just being stupid. Oh wow, and this one is too. Great. Um, well, what can I do about this? Man, the ailerons seem to be doing what they're supposed to. Okay, well, they are hanging down, actually. But look at them. Look at that. That is how something should work. Uh, not like that. Okay, I'll have to put something there to stop them. But otherwise, that is how a thing should be working. What? Why? Okay. I, I was confused for a moment why this was bent, but then I realized it was just an illusion. Okay, so what am I going to do about these? Um, well... Okay. I should have welded these to this thing. That probably would have made them more stable. Oh wow, when the weight is from them is just pulling this lever down. What happens if I move the lever? I mean, this part goes up. I guess I could try getting rid of this part. God. Oh wow, look at this. I actually gauged this pretty well. Oh wait, no, it's just smashing against it, never mind. Yeah, so I'm going to remove that. Um, that did not fix it. 
Let me see. Going to get this to float back up to where it's supposed to be. Wow. I just wish it could be a decent person. Oh, thank you. And now I'm going to attach this to here with a ball socket. Oh, this one's cooperating. How nice is that? Is this straight? Oh my god, this huge rod is in my way. It's in my field of vision. I can just uh, shove this out of the way. Oh god. Oh right, I'm using two bars to compose this bar. So I should no collide it with both of those. And now, ball socket. Boom. Does, does this work? Please tell me it works. Alright. Oh, I should no collide everything with everything. I think making this whole thing zero gravity would be a good investment. Yeah, now they now they say they stay straight. I just I just don't want to push them too hard. Because uh, nothing is preventing them from uh, flipping out of control. Actually, I suppose some weight would uh, help keep them in place. I mean, they've got to be helping the airplane lift off the ground. So, you know, they... It, it makes sense that they're tilting slightly downwards. I mean, hey, it's not the worst, you've got to admit. Yeah, I think I'm going to disable the gravity again and then just make something to stop them.
And I'll be disabling the gravity on this too. Why the fuck is it? Okay. I thought this was zero gravity. Why is it so heavy? Okay, it's fine. Now I've just got to get this straight. Okay. Uh, yeah. So now I can attach it to the panel thing I had before. Here we go. This thing really doesn't need to be attached to the wings. Actually, I think that might uh, obstruct its mobility. I think I'm just going to weld it straight to the flaps. And then put the lever back on. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh my god, that sucks. I need to fix it. Okay, is that good? No, it's not. Um, okay, wow, I, ju I just want it back to the way it was, is that too much to ask? Okay, I'm gonna no collide this thing with this. Great. Why? Why is it stupid? Uh, 
Okay. This is great. Did I weld it to the thing? It's always fantastic when the X doesn't just show up. There we go. Um, yeah, this is fine, I think. I actually think this is fine. So what if it's weird? Actually, that means this lever might be clipping through the ground, which I don't want. This is good. This is quality. Okay. Now I also want something for this level to, th th God, this lever to rest on that's not the ground. Because so much of this uh, is going to be no collided with the shit here. That, um... And, like, that inc- that- I- I need, uh, the lever to be no-collided with the cab so that it can go through here, through this wall. But I also need something for it to rest against, because if it doesn't have something to rest against, it's just going to fall down. So. That's where something like, I don't know something good comes in. Sure. You know what? Why the hell not? Alright, that's looking good. This looks like it will function. Great. Okay, and now, for the big reveal, do the flaps work? Let's find out. They're very sturdy. Last time they were off the ground, they were just flying all over the place. Oh wow, man, that's great to see. Now I have to get the lever back into its position all over again. That's just something that I've always wanted to do. So I'm actually not complaining. This is great.
please rotate. There you go. Please be lined up. Um, you are not. Daddy's going to have to punish you. Oh, is that lined up? I think it is. That looks like everything in the world has gone right to me. Oh my god, and now this is out of place. This is just, this is all just gone so left field. Okay. Great. This side. This side still looks intact. What the fuck? Okay. God, look at look at this. I can literally I can literally just nose dive into this trench. Okay. Now I can actually weld everything. Great. Let's see how this goes. It's not falling down. That is what I like to see. Um, oh, do I smell good things approaching? Oh my. Okay, well, I can just remove some weight. Hey, I mean, like, this works. Like, th this means, it, this literally means it works. So, you know, I'm not complaining. Just need to get rid of some of this weight. Um, let's see. I need more weight focused here. Actually, what I could do is I could have this sort of slide up and down, uh, but that would be weird. Yeah, I'd like to be able to just pull this thing up. Maybe. I could just get rid of everything's gravity, everything associated with the flaps, and then, and then what I'll do is I'll put something heavy on the end. To make it stay down. Thanks for sticking with me, uh, the three people who are still in the chat. You guys are the real people who appreciate airplanes.
Like, everyone else was just pretending that they like airplanes so that they can look cool in front of their friends. But you guys are just actually invested in the process of aerospace engineering. Okay, I'm spending a... I'm investing a lot of time uh, into figuring out how to position this hook, not even knowing if it'll work. Oh, and it does! Look at that shit. Look at that shit hit the fan. Um, I did use, like, the heaviest object in the game. I actually might not have needed it to be that heavy, and that might actually be a detriment to my system. Um, but let's see. Oh, yeah, it's tilting upwards. God. What did I use for this? Oh, spacebar. God, I thought it was T and J. I think that's great. Like, it looks... It looks accurate. It works accurately. Uh, it's better than the ailerons. Although they might improve as I, like, add things to, uh, stop them from being weird. Just look at this. Look at how elegantly that happens. Here's how it would look from my perspective sitting in the airplane. Look, I press space and then, okay, that, well, that's not what it looks like. It's sort of like this. And then I pull it up and it's just great. Got the flaps completed. Um, that is great. Now I'd like something to help the aileron stop being weird. My goal for this uh, live stream was to like complete the wings of the airplane. So after I find something to make the ailerons be less weird, uh, I'm probably going to end the stream there. But for now, I've just got to look for anything at all. So that, you know, they stop doing this. Oh, yeah, and then they just fly out of control. It's like they have no self-esteem. Let's see, what can I do? I could just um, limit the range of, of which I can push this lever. Although them going up too far isn't a problem, it's just them going down. That's really the problem. Also, these wings are gonna go under these, so, you know, these wings will already be uh, blocking them from going up too far. So how can I prevent them from going down too far? 
the answer is I just need some things first I need to get these lined up please get lined up don't don't do this to me don't be so weird what just got to get them straight Got to get them looking nice. Wow, this one just doesn't know what the fuck he's doing in life. Come on. Come on. Just go down for me. Go down. Do I need to unfreeze this other one to get this other one to go down? pretty cool how I can just control them like by actually using the lever I'd say that's pretty straight maybe down a little if you will if you would just go down a little okay it doesn't need to be that precise, I'm just putting something underneath them to stop them. I don't even know what I'm doing or worried about. I'm going to freeze these wings. And would this do the trick? I don't know. I want to find something... I think there are things that could work better because this this right here is quite the steep slope and also like I, th I feel like these things would just go right over it I don't think that would do much to stop it to stop them Um, this is something. I'm, uh, I'm definitely going to uh, make this invisible if I do use this, because it fucking sucks. Oh, there's a smaller version that's not much better. And there's this. Okay. This is a good contender, maybe. I feel like it would create some drag on the plane, because I'd have to remove the gravity, and then it would just be this giant thing without gravity on my wings. And I just can't have that sort of thing in my life. I think just an average panel would do. Not that, really. Hmm. Um. Okay. Yeah, something smaller. Oh God, no, not that way. Okay, so I think that's about the maximum angle that I want them to tilt. 
So let me bring this away from everything else because apparently when things are close together, they get duplicated together. Okay, now I have another thing that's tilted at the same angle. And... gonna want to no collide this with the wing and with this great I think this will make a great stopper for my ailerons Oh, but is it straight? That is the question. No, it is not. Uh, okay. This, this, is, this works. This is working. There... There we go. Now, I've just got to move this sideways. Not that far. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And as for this other one, I will be doing the same. Oh my god. Let me move this upwards. How much did I insert this one into the wing? Um, I inserted like the corner. Did I insert the other corner an equal amount into the wing? It seems so. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. It looks fine to me. Oh god, but this is awful. I need to turn it. Yeah, no. What do you think of that? That's awful. Man, just the slightest movement sends me flying through the sky.
That's something. That's something for sure. Okay. Yeah, it's it's pretty hard to judge. But um Hey, there's only one way to f Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I can tell that these are not the same. Wait, maybe they are. Maybe these are actually okay. I'm going to run another aileron test. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely preventing them from moving downwards too far, but they, like, smash into them, and it's weird. So I might want to, like, actually make it so that this thing, these parts, are flush with the ailerons when they are, when they're, like, you know, flaccid. want them to go down like that much. Yeah. Uh okay. This is fine. I'm actually gonna replace these with smaller things. Ones that are actually the size of the ailerons or less because I only need them for the ailerons and not the flaps. What? Okay. Oh my god, yes. And then I just slap it on here. Um, what the fuck? I'm gonna no collide this with the wing. Right. Looks pretty sexy to me. Oh my god, what thing did I did, did, did I use this? Okay, great. Please, please just go on. There we go. Oh yeah. That's what I like to see. Uh, yeah. I mean... Yeah, seems to be working decently. Now, it does seem that the one problem I am experiencing is that, uh, 
its resting state is not always neutral. Sometimes it's the case that, like, when I, uh, when I stop moving the le lever, one of these will be, like, up and the other one will be down and it's just so stupid. Fortunately, it's not too noticeable. But I still would like to try to do what I can to fix this. Um, if the lever was longer, it would be nice because I could put some sort of weight at the bottom. Although I don't know how much it would help because the levers, I've seen the lever be pretty damn straight before and have still had the ailerons, like, be weird. Example one, this is it. Two hours to make a plane is kind of wild, not gonna lie. Oh, I've spent much longer on the plane than, uh, than just the time I've spent, uh, streaming. Like, I don't know how many hours, uh, I've spent total trying to make this. But, like, just me building the fuselage and, like, the wings and, you know, the tail and stuff took a it took me quite a while but as you can see it was all worth it because look how great this is and you know when you think about it um it's great because my plane is straight and what i use to get it so straight is uh this this part I pretty much just lined all the parts up on this track to like help keep them straight. And so, you know, I was implementing strategies and techniques to make this plane. And so, you know, the time spent was the time that was worth it is what I always say. And that's those are the rules that everyone should live by as well. Oh, and not to mention, I will probably be spending much, much longer making the other stuff for the plane. Yeah, I'm still kind of worried about them going up. I'm trying to think of how I could fix this problem, where their resting state is uh isn't ideal all all the time I could try to add more friction somehow. I mean, I think I'm gonna have to add more friction, but the question is how the hell will I do that? Man, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, 
Okay. Well, I guess I sh I just shouldn't spend too long just thinking about this while you guys wait for me. Why did I spawn that? Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and attach the wings to the plane. Uh, I I can't lie. I haven't been looking forward to forwards to this part, but I I think I think if all goes well, then you know it will. This chair is garbage. I don't need it at the moment. God, it's just such a burden in my life. Come on, buddy. I attached that, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Great. But the question is, did I attach this to this? Because I have now. The flaps are, they're really my favorite part at the moment. Just check them out. Those are some sick moves. Okay. I am unfreezing everything. Whoa. Oh, yeah, um, these things, man. I wish I could disable their ability to collide with the ground, but, uh, that's that. Now, I just need everything to keep stable. That's really all I need. As I no collide, like everything from here to everything with this. God. Um, yeah, this will take a while. I'm just gonna go down the entire thing, I think. Because, like, I can't disable collisions with everything here. Because there are some collisions that I sort of rely on. For this thing to work. Well, actually, what what collisions other than this do I need to rely on? Um. Oh, right. Yeah, the ailerons and the flaps and everything. Okay. Yeah, I I I need to be careful with this shit. So I'm just gonna go one part at a time down this thing, and no colliding it with this thing.
Oh, right, this part. Oh my god. Well, I don't need to worry about that. I don't think. And actually, this entire process is gonna be boring as fuck, so I'm probably just gonna end the stream now. So, uh, yeah, bye everyone. If you were one of the two people, because I realized that the third person was me, who stuck around this whole time, or, you know, one of the two people who are here at the end, uh, thank you for sticking with me and watching me build this airplane that may or may not work, uh, and yeah, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my first live stream, as I said, I'm, uh, not really used to streaming alone, so it, it was difficult to try to balance, like, being entertaining and, uh, making a plane, but anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed comment down below if you're a ray if you're a ray only fans member and i'll see ya